people really add anything to the steak in flavor or anything? Is it or is it purely a Today we are at 212 Steakhouse in New York City to try a $400 steak. Now you might be wondering why on earth is it worth $400? And there are a variety of reasons, but the biggest one being that it is gilded in gold. Now I have eaten a lot of gold things in my life and I always ask the same question. Is the gold going to add any kind of taste for this steak, who knows? Let's go find out. Two on Two Steakhouse is known for its Kobe. The restaurant itself is the only one in New York that is actually allowed to purchase and sell uh, Kobe. The owner of the restaurant had to pay a lot of money for it and he had to go out into Japan and like actually go and see the steaks, learn about everything out there. Kobe beef is uh, the black cattle. From the Hyoja prefecture in Japan. For me personally, uh, the taste difference is, I mean, to me, night and day. Like it's so much more tender, rich, juicier. At 212 Steakhouse, the restaurant offers two Kobe beef experiences, the Kobe beef tasting and the gold experience. The difference between the Kobe tasting and the gold experience, uh, first and foremost, is the meat is not covered in gold. Uh, the second is the Kobe tasting. You get a, a little selection out of all three different types. The gold experience is a six ounce of whichever uh, selection you choose, and then we cover it in uh, gold sheets. The reason why it is double the price is because you have to stop the kitchen in order to make one dish. In order to get a better idea of what Chef Mendiola meant, we stepped inside the kitchen to see how the gold experience is made. Can you kind of give us a breakdown of which one's which? All right, so this is the Kobe tenderloin. This one right here is the uh, Kobe. This is the uh, Kobe ribeye. So, which one do you think I should get? Like, for me, my personal preference is always gonna go for the tenderloin. And why is that? Uh, just because it's the softest piece to chew, cut into, all around, it's just got the most flavor to me. Is the tenderloin also the most expensive cut? Yes. Okay, so we'll get that one. Once the steak is portioned out, it's simply seasoned with salt. Remember how Chef Mandiola said he had to stop the kitchen for the gold steak? This is what he meant. When you have to stop everything just for this one dish, you're losing out on so much money that the restaurant has to be able to do it that way in order to sustain. So this is the gold. I'm like nervous, my hands are shaking, it's no big deal. 25 sheets, $40. I can't do the math. You want me to coat your tongue in gold? It's finished off with sliced cucumbers, sweet roasted pepper coulis, and microgreens. I'm ready to eat. First things first, I don't care if there are 25 sheets of gold on this Kobe beef. The smell of the Kobe is just permeating through the gold sheets into my nostrils and it is just so intoxicating. I feel like I just did a lot more swallowing than chewing because the steak is so, so incredibly juicy and fatty. For this, I just think that the gold flakes add a very pretty sheen on top of a otherwise already luxurious steak. Um, I don't think that the gold sheets are 
adding any kind of flavor to it. I feel like if you were putting 24 karat gold on a run-of-the-mill steak, you would have a harder time justifying it. When you're putting it on a portion of Kobe beef, which is like the king of kings when it comes to beef, it's just adding a crown to an already amazing cut of meat. I do think it's superfluous, but I think if you're gonna do it, this is the best way to do it.